Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Paul Faye here again. Welcome back to our NASCAR Diecast review. And today we have the Dent Wizard, Ryan Blaney 2022 Ford Mustang. Uh, it's been a couple of years since we've had this paint scheme from what I can remember. And he actually won Talladega in 2019 uh, with these colors on board. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this paint scheme. Alrighty, folks, right out of the good old box. And here she is in the studio. Uh, so this is a pretty fresh-looking paint scheme here. Definitely a new uh, livery for the Denton Wizard Company. Uh, of course, you know, they did sponsor, I think, Brad Kay for a couple years uh, and uh, Ryan Blaney. But, of course, with Brad leaving uh, Team Penske, well, guess what? Ryan Blaney gets to pick up the sponsor. So let's go ahead and dive on into this diecast review. Uh, and, of course, pick this one up for our friends over there at Circuit Diecast. You can, too. Check out that promo code down below, guys, and you can save on shipping. So, here on the hood, you have Dent Wizard Smart Repairs once again. It's it's ironic that the one race he won, or one of the many races, uh, he, he won in the Dent Wizard car at Talladega. Well, there's no better racetrack probably you're going to need some smart repairs than Talladega. Maybe Bristol or something. I uh, get uh, Ryan Blaney there with the Ford logo. Uh, you got um, Penzel Ford once again. Go to the front headlights of this car. Just beautiful front ends to these uh, Gen 7 Ford Mustangs. They look fantastic, but it's a little bit, I don't know, off-centered maybe? Yeah, a little bit. You can see how the bottom grille is completely shifted over. So we're just going to assume this is a, a 2006 Ford, and the whole front end is supposed to be slanted uh, because that's what they did back in yesteryear. Let's get to Sunoco there, number 12. Uh, Sunoco, once again, that decal is, well, literally in the fender well. Let's go to the left side of the car. And I love when sponsors do this, where they take the whole logo, they cover the whole side panel, and they even add a little bit of, like, a tilt to it, because you can see this is the car flat. Uh, the logo is kind of aiming down, which looks really, really nice, because it follows the body lines of the Ford Mustang. You know, it's, it, it's that's why when you see, like, sports car liveries, They'll do stuff like this because if it's a Porsche or a Mercedes or whatnot, it's obviously going to have some very interesting body lines to the car, so you naturally need to adjust the sponsor logo placement to accommodate that. And it's about time we're starting to see more and more of these next-gen paint schemes have that. Let's get Goodyear there, Cup Series, number 12. Is that, is that a silver or is it flat gray? I think it's a flat gray. I don't think the uh, this panel here is actually silver. I think it's just a flat gray, which still looks really good. Get Worth right there. Will Bosch Menards. Uh, Dent Wizard Smart Repairs. Ryan Bellini. You got the race win sticker, which is from the All-Star race. He did not win a points-paying cup race in 2022, which is really weird, and you win the All-Star race. That All-Star race sucked, but I'm glad Blaney won it. He literally had to hang on for dear life because of the window net. <laughs> uh, Dex Imaging, Advanced Auto Parts, uh, Ford, PPG, Mazak, Dent Wizard, and Discount Tire. Uh, the Discount Tire car is also getting made uh, as well. We're here to the back end of the car. Um, clearly, uh, the back panel is not accurately wrapped because... You know, this portion's a little too high, this portion's a little too low, and it looks like they need some Dent Wizard to get this one fixed. Uh, number 12. What, what, what is it? Is it just like a repair company, or is it like Bondo? I remember, that reminds me, um, when Greg Biffle was sponsored by Bondo, I think at the Bristol Night Race in 2011 or 2012 or something like that. I thought that was the funniest thing ever. It was one of the, the night races I can remember. I think it was Bristol. And um, <laughs> it's like, that's that's the perfect place to sponsor that. You know, if you're like a repair company or a crash repair company or something, go to one of the short tracks or Talladega or Daytona. It's like if you're a car insurance company, it's, it's the perfect segue for the sponsors to chime in and add your, you know, kind of carry on their commentary with your sponsor. It's like, oh, yeah, they're going to need that or this or uh, it's like every time Ty Dillon was sponsored by Geico or Casey Mears and you just see a gigantic pile up, it's... It's just, you know, sometimes the sponsors, it just perfectly plays together. You can see the line here does not match up either, which is a little bit of a bummer. I will say, though, the blue is not just a flat blue. It, it, it has this, like, underwater look to it. And what I mean by that, you can see right here in the middle, it's darker. But on the edges, it's a little bit lighter, right? Um, you can see right here on the deck lid how the edges of it are a little bit brighter, but the middle of it is um, darker. And the reason why it does that is the blue paint is somewhat transparent. It's not a full opacity paint. So anytime you have a sharp edge, like around the headlights, you can see a little bit of a blue 
um, lighter blue trim, if you will. This generally happens with paints that are a little bit thinner, right? It, it, it's normal. But it actually adds a really nice texture to this paint scheme. So instead of it just being a flat blue, you do get a little bit of a, a, a kind of a texture and a detail uh, with the, um, the little bit of a transparency with the blue paint, which I think looks really good. It adds just a little bit of character to this die cast. I uh, got the number 12 right there on the roof. You got snap on. Looks like the 12's a little bit crooked, maybe? Yeah, just a little bit. It's all good. I still think they should do an all tell uh, Ryan Newman throwback like how cool would it be if they did a throwback to his 2008 uh daytona 500 card <laughs> that would be so cool uh we need some cot's uh to be uh throwback paint schemes blindy back window uh ribbon if you will it's just a fraction off center but it's all good look at the snap on decal look how like bumpy that is but then you look at it up here and it's actually perfectly flat this roof flap right here is actually pressed inwards um, for whatever reason, on the Ford Mustang tooling, the, the roof flaps, they're, like, embedded into the car, like, meaning they're deeper into the die-cast mold, and it creates that kind of wavy, bumpy look. Uh, the Camaros do not have that, ironically enough, uh, and, and neither does the Toyota Camrys last time I checked. And it would, especially when you strip these cars to the bare metal and you actually get to see the grooves and all the uh, things that this Mustang mold has. It, it's it's pretty uh, substantial, the the dip right here on the roof flaps, which I can't remember for the life of me if they've, if they've ever had a 164 scale that did that. So I don't know if that's intentional or that was just a slight error. Who really knows? Uh, but what I do know, this is a very, very cool-looking paint scheme. So glad the sponsor uh, got a 164 made. Once again, definitely reminds me of the Ryan Blaney uh, Menards Pennzoil paint scheme they got in 2018. Didn't make it in 1920 or 2021, but we got it in 2022. Great paint scheme. Did a review on that one. Uh, the wheel paint, I will say, is very similar, if not the exact same uh, paint that they used on the Chevrolet Camaro reveal car. Uh, if you remember that from one of the waves earlier last year, technically this year, because <laughs> it's still the 2022 Authentics line. Don't even get me started on the Authentics line, guys. Oh boy, we got there. That that it's a it's a ship taken on water at this point. Uh, but I will be honest with you, I much prefer the metallic chrome wheels we had earlier this season than this style. Because to me, this looks flat. Like, it looks like a matte powder-coated finish, which some might like that. But I much prefer a little bit of a aluminum uh, style to it. Um, so, and, and just for, like, comparison... This is the type of wheel color I would want. This is the end of my X-Acto knife. If you ever have one of these, be careful. But I would like something like this where it's like really shiny, you know, like legit chrome. You see what I'm saying? Because if you look at the race cars on track, this is what they have. Uh, they have like a, like a, a aluminum, like a brushed aluminum chrome uh, style wheels. And you can look at like the Austin Cendric 124 diecast. It has that as well. I can actually hand paint these wheels and add that. But I, I much prefer that style than the, the, the matte finish, like powder coat, metallic look, <laughs> if that makes any sense. That's all for now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this diecast review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, highly recommend this diecast. And it's a great looking paint scheme, too. I really like this livery. Um, it's modern. It's fresh. And they did a great job with the side panel logo here. They did a great job with the sponsor placement, and the blue is very pretty. Uh, it's like an indigo blue, if you will. Uh, so that's all for now. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, well, Diecast Buffet, signing off.